In this lesson, we will log in to the Conservation Desktop training site and set our user preferences. New for this release of CD is an improved training site that more closely follows what users see in the production version. Users will log in to the new training site using their LinkPass and eAuthentication account. The training site is integrated with copies of production data and Z roles, meaning users will have the same roles and jurisdiction in the training site as in production CD and will be able to work with familiar clients and case files. Training site's roles will be updated from production every two weeks to bring in users with new e-authentication accounts. Users with role grantor permissions can update roles directly in the training instance of Z roles. Any changes made here will not impact production roles. Customized roles in the training environment will not be retained after the bi-weekly refresh. User preferences must be set when using Conservation Desktop for the first time, and preferences can be updated as needed. The selected and default service centers are used for searching for clients, case files, and agreements in Conservation Desktop, and for Conservation Desktop tools. Preferences for NRCS land uses, programs, and practices can be used to customize these choice lists if there are specific land uses, programs, or practices not used in your service center. The servicing office and conservation district preferences will be used in conservation products. Task preferences allows you to control how tasks are displayed in the task list. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to log in to the conservation desktop training site and set your user preferences. Click on the link for the CD training site. You should be logged in automatically with your e-authentication single sign-on. Click the user menu button on the conservation desktop toolbar and select preferences. By default, user preferences will open to the service center management screen. If you have permissions for more than one state or there are no service centers listed in the grid, Select a state from the Filter by State drop-down. Check the checkbox for the service center you want to use for training to set it as available. All check service centers are available while working in CD, and more than one can be selected at any time. Note that the Select All, Unselect All checkbox at the top of the list can be used to select or unselect all listed service centers. Select the default service center radio button to set the service center you want to use for training as your default. While working in CD, service center choice lists will always default to this selection and only one default may be selected at a time. Select the save button. Conservation Desktop displays a confirmation window to let you know that preferences updated successfully. Select Close to close the confirmation window. Select NRCS Land Use from the Preferences menu. Conservation Desktop displays a list of NRCS land uses and codes. Using the individual checkboxes or the Select All, Unselect All checkbox at the top of the list, select the land uses you will be working with in Conservation Desktop. Select the Save button to save the changes. Conservation Desktop displays a confirmation window to let you know that preferences updated successfully. Select Close to close the confirmation window. Select Programs from the Preferences menu. Conservation Desktop displays a list of program names and codes. Using the individual checkboxes or the Select All Select all checkbox at the top of the list. Select the programs you will be working with in Conservation Desktop. Select the Save button to save the changes. Conservation Desktop displays a confirmation window to let you know that preferences updated successfully. Select Close to close the confirmation window. Select Practices from the Preferences menu. 
Conservation Desktop displays a list of practice names and codes. Using the individual checkboxes or the Select All, Unselect All checkbox at the top of the list, select the practices you will be working with in Conservation Desktop. Note that by clicking on the header for code or practice name, you can sort the list by practice code or practice name. Select the Save button to save the changes. Conservation Desktop displays a confirmation window to let you know that preferences updated successfully. Select Close to close the confirmation window. Select Servicing Office from the Preferences menu. Conservation Desktop displays the Servicing Office options. The default Service Center is displayed. This selection can only be updated from the Service Center Management screen. Conservation Desktop displays the designated conservationists for the Service Center. This information comes from the OIP database. If needed, you can override by typing a different name in the text box. If you do override this by typing in a different name and saving, the change will be saved in your preferences and stick even after you log off and back into CD. Note, if the designated conservationist name is incorrect, the OIP database should be updated to reflect the correct name. Conservation Desktop displays a list of certified planners for the Service Center. Since this is limited to certified planners only, it is intended to reflect whose signature may appear on plan documents to signal approval. Select a certified planner from the list to set as the default certified planner. Conservation Desktop displays the address, phone number, state, zip code, and fax numbers for the service center. This information comes from the OIP database and is not editable in Preferences. Select the Save button. Conservation Desktop displays a confirmation window to let you know that Preferences updated successfully. Select Close to close the confirmation window. Select Conservation District from the Preferences menu. Conservation Desktop displays the Conservation District options. Conservation Desktop displays a list of conservation districts corresponding to the service centers selected on the service center management screen. Select the conservation district from the drop-down list. Check the default district checkbox to set the selected conservation district as the default. Conservation Desktop displays the address, phone number, state, zip code, and fax numbers for the conservation district. This information comes from the OIP database and is not editable in Preferences. Select the Save button. Conservation Desktop displays a confirmation window to let you know that Preferences updated successfully. Select Close to close the confirmation window. Select Task from the Preferences menu. Conservation Desktop displays the User Preferences Task options. Conservation Desktop displays options for how tasks are displayed in the task list. For Sort Column, select the column to use for sorting the task. For Sort Direction, select Descending or Ascending. Select the Filter Method. The Reset Defaults options sets task preferences back to the default options. Select the Save button. Conservation Desktop displays a confirmation window to let you know that preferences updated successfully. Select Close to close the confirmation window. Select the X at the upper right of Preferences dialog to close the panel. Thank you for viewing this lesson for Conservation Desktop Version 2 Release 2.